So, why is it that sooner or later, everybody gets presbyopia? What's going on? It's all about how your eye works and how it changes over time. When you look at the world, light goes through your cornea, into your pupil, the hole in the colored part of your eye. Then it passes through the lens, which focuses the light into a point on your retina, the light-sensitive lining at the back of the eye, that works sort of like film in a camera. From there, the image is converted to electrical impulses, which are whisked off to your brain. And long story short, you see friends and sunsets and movies and emails and art and videos about presbyopia. Now let's take another look at the lens. When you focus your eye, tiny muscles actually pull on the lens, changing its shape. When you're young, the lens is flexible, so it's easy for those muscles to focus the lens on whatever you want. But over time, the lens gets stiffer. It becomes a struggle to pull it into shape, especially for seeing up close. Light starts focusing behind your retina instead of on it. And the images sent to your brain? Blurry. By your early 40s, your lenses will lose enough elasticity that you'll probably notice when you read at a normal distance. Eventually, they'll barely flex at all. But it's normal, even if you've always had perfect vision. And that is why everybody gets presbyopia. So if the fine print is getting hard to read, visit an eye doctor as soon as you can. If it's presbyopia, you've got plenty of ways to deal with it. A lot of people like having both multifocal contacts and progressive eyeglasses for flexibility, or you can try readers. Your eye doctor will know just how to help, because everybody gets it.